Custom Kate. I'm going to show you how to transfer a symmetrical image to your wood in this uh, quick tutorial. First off, um, unlike my other projects, I could not freehand my design onto my wood because this design that I chose to do was very, very symmetrical and I needed everything to kind of match up. So first step is draw a quick sketch in your sketchbook or on a piece of paper somewhere. Uh, I did have to bust out my straight edge for this one. I recommend you do the same thing if you're doing a symmetrical sketch. Just make sure everything matches up, everything's nice and how you want it. Your next thing that you're gonna do is get some transparency film, place it over your sketch, and just use Expo markers to kind of uh, outline your, your artwork. I will say the Expo markers kind of have a fat line, so you can only get so much detail onto the transparency film, which means you're gonna have to freehand a lot of it on the actual wood itself, which I'll show you how to still get a symmetrical look by um, freehanding. Quick note, transparency film at my local office supply store, they wanted like, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks for like 25 sheets. I got 100 sheets um, for about $14 and some change off of Amazon, plus I'm Prime, so I got two day free shipping. But if you still don't wanna pay that amount, you can always use sheet protectors. I think they're like six or seven bucks per box. I have this 3M overhead projector that I bought off of a local yard sale for $10, but I have seen them on eBay for around 40, 50 bucks. I use that to trace my image onto the wood. Well, it's not matching up, but um, once you get it onto the wood where you want it, just trace it on with an H graphite pencil. If you don't know the different shades of darkness with graphite pencils, H is the lightest. B is the medium uh, shade, and then F is gonna be your darkest color. Use H so that it doesn't kind of, uh, it doesn't pop out in your stains too much, plus it's kind of easier to erase. Now, next step I did was I got just one side of my image exactly the way that I wanted it. And I wanted it to match up with my other side, but the easiest way to do that without driving yourself crazy is just to use tracing paper. Tape it up, and here, instead of using an H, I'm gonna use a B, and remember, B is for medium. And what I'm gonna do is just trace over my image in bits and pieces, because I don't have tracing paper that's big enough to, to fit all of this. Um, so pretend I did this whole thing. The next step, just take your tracing paper, Voila, flip it over and get it to match up to where you want it on the other side. I'm going to take my same graphite pencil, my letter B, or is it a B4? I don't know. And trace over your image again. Push down pretty hard because what's going to happen is it's going to transfer the graphite that's on the other side of it right onto the wood. <clears throat> and just make sure that you stay within the lines. If you're a very anal person, maybe this isn't the best project for you. Um, with this one, with this piece, I don't. I still want it to look like it was done by hand. I don't want it to look incredibly perfect, like it's almost like a vinyl sticker that I threw in there. Nothing wrong with vinyl, but I do still want it to be um, uh, still look handmade. So I'm only gonna do certain sections of this and then the other sections I am still gonna freehand. I'm hoping that it'll still look the same but not perfectly matched up. So um, I think it's gonna turn out really cute and I hope this tutorial was informative. Thanks.